I literally crawled out of bed to make this video. I just got done making a video for Heading Out, which will be a product review that will be posted now next week versus this week. I crawl into bed. I look at my phone. First thing I see on subreddit is Corsair is going to be acquiring Fanatic. I'm going to pause for a second and just take that in. Corsair is going to acquire Fnatic. So, of course, it's not official yet, but as this news report states, uh, Corsair and Endor AG, which is the parent company of Fnatic, have reached an agreement that ultimately helps restructure their 70 million euro debt with the ultimate goal that Corsair will be acquiring Fnatic. Now, my mind is racing in about like 20 different places right now, all at the same time. So, as an individual who utilizes a lot of Fnatic products and is like my primary rig setup and Honestly, if I had more money, I'd buy a lot more of their products. But recently, this past year has been incredibly concerning as a consumer of Fnatic products, which has kind of turned me away from buying more of them. From the addition of the Club Sport wheelbase system, which I felt was completely unnecessary and they're way too expensive for what they're worth to in that same vein having this issue where Fnatic announced that you know the of course the club sport dd plus or whatever it is is going to have playstation compatibility as you would but then they're like yeah we actually haven't reached an agreement so for those who actually bought it won't actually get it yet because we haven't finalized it even though it's on our website and you can buy it now which is a mess but i digress to they haven't announced a new wheel in what feels like two years at this point like the newest wheel that they've got is the really cool like gran turismo tie-in wheel for the club sport dd plus which i would buy but i'm not going to spend 1300 dollars on a new wheelbase to get the included wheel i would just like to buy the wheel you know <laughs> Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. But the biggest, most glaring problem is the entirety of their logistics and the entirety of their lack of customer service. People have been seeing that they've been weak, reaching out for weeks via email, via social media, saying, hey, I've got an issue with my product, to crickets, which I'm pretty sure is illegal on like in the EU and with the FCC it's like if you have a issue with a product you need to respond and say yeah we're going to come fix it it's on our bad you know so it's just there are so many glaring issues on top of this massive 70 million euro debt which is like, I can't even comprehend how you would get that. But to get to the back to the good news, Corsair is, I don't think they're wiping away the debt completely. It said per the report that they are going to restructure said debt. But my brain goes to a lot of great places. First and foremost, is Corsair will immediately improve the customer service situation. Corsair is, in my mind, it is not the pinnacle of gaming products, but, I mean, it is an incredibly reputable brand. I've got power supplies in RAM from them. They've never once had an issue. They're not in the news every other week about how their CEO is trying to shut down U.S. democracy and is not running away with, like, 
a billion dollars in like a golden parachute by doing illegal practices. You know, they're a good brand. I would continue to buy from them regardless of the fanatic situation. And the nice thing about Corsair too is that they've got, I don't know if they've got like a partnership with Best Buy, but you can buy like a lot of Corsair products through Best Buy, through Amazon, through Micro Center. So just the idea, the fact that Fanatic doesn't have any product in retail stores, I know is kind of a business decision because if you run it all through your website, you don't need to pay money for these third party resellers to take a cut of their own off of what would be your profit. It makes sense. But the thing that I've struggled with is that you always have to wait for shipping. There's never a point where it's like, hey, I need to go out to the store and pick up, like, I don't know, a new pedal set or a new wheel or a new adapter or, you know, an RJ12 or 14, whatever it is to USB. You have to order it. And this is where the problem's been. Fanatic has incredibly long logistics shipping delays for because the demand is so high so the fact that there is this potential now that you can walk into a brick and mortar store like Best Buy and pick up a Fanatic product off the shelf is crazy and the other thing, too, is I think Corsair will be able to take a look at kind of the situation. Of, I'm hoping that with the restructuring of their debt, Corsair is able to look at Fanatic and say, hey, the wheelbase has either got to come down in price or you got to stop pushing so many of them. Everybody's already got a wheelbase, but if you can continue to make more and more and more and more and more and more wheels... I would have a wall of wheels behind me hanging up. I really would. I love the aesthetic, the feel, the build quality of these wheels. I'd love to be able to hot swap them based on whatever car I'm using. The one thing that I'm also interested in is how every single sim racing company since 2021 has made a wheel with like an LCD screen in the middle. And we're still waiting for that from Fnatic. They've teased the BMW wheel for ages, and that's nowhere close to being released. I mean, the new Gran Turismo wheel has got some lap time information on, which, again, I would buy that wheel. It's got a little screen on it. It's got all the little, like, lap time information. I'd love to have that. But I have to buy a new wheelbase for it. And it's like, you guys just... That might be another story with licensing with Gran Turismo, so that could be completely different. But still, it's like, since COVID, their product development has been kind of non-existent. Like, they keep pushing these wheelbases, and they've got three different types of pedals, and you still can't buy an individual load cell for the CSL Elite if you bought one of their old ones. It's just... It's a mess. So I think Corsair stepping in is going to be amazing because it is, again, a reputable brand. They've got great products. They've got great product development. They've got just their products in brick and mortar stores. They're not too terribly pricey. I think they can bring a lot of innovation to Fnatic. I really do. I think this is a superb partnership that yes there may be some issues with it in the short term but just getting Corsair's customer service to take care of Fnatic it's 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 a godsend so at this point I'm rambling I figured I'd just make a quick video on this about how Corsair is probably going to acquire Fnatic, or at least is in talks to do so, in restructuring their massive debt. I think we will see some changes. We'll probably see Fnatic stepping away from so many 
sponsorships of so many real world motorsport events. But I think Corsair is a solid brand and is probably the brand to partner with when it comes to gaming peripherals. I was kind of concerned with Fnatic's situation that they'd be acquired by private equity and then just be completely run into the ground. So, those up at Corsair who saw this opportunity, this is going to sound weird, but thank you. I can only see good things coming from this. And I hope you guys are able to turn Fnatic around because they are a great company. They've got great products. But they've got some serious issues that they need to address in the short term. The thing, again, Corsair can help solve. So if you watched this far into the video, thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a comment, a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think of this. Because I am very curious to see if you're excited as I am. Or if you guys are actually quite nervous about what the future may hold with Fnatic. So again, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.